Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to connect up a PlayStation. Let me see if I can show you a PlayStation 4 controller. Okay, so to do it's really simple. You could use a wire, you could plug in a micro USB cable into there, plug it into some, I guess, some sort of dongle that could go into the USB C port on the top. It's a convoluted way. You're going to want to, you know, use wireless, and obviously, the Steam Deck has Bluetooth built in. The PlayStation 4 controller has regular Bluetooth built in on likes like a 360 controller or original Xbox One controllers. You don't need a dongle to just connect wirelessly. So to do it, it is actually pretty simple. First of all, you want to put this the controller into pairing mode. To do that, you press the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. What I have found is sometimes if you've connected it to your PlayStation or some other device, the, the controller... If it doesn't work, then it might need to be reset. To reset it, if you look at the back, there's a little hole here. It's over there. If you get a pin, and what I, so I've seen people use needles and they're sharp, you don't want to be damaging your controller. What I find works great, the exact size, is a SIM card ejector tool for like, you know, your iPhone or your Samsung or, you know, whatever your phone you got. Use one of them, that will get the job done and pretty much everyone probably got access to one of them as well. So just Press it in for about three to five seconds, that'll reset it if you have an issue. You don't need to do that if you don't have any issues, but before I mention that, anyway. Okay, so to put this into pairing mode, uh, well, actually what we'll do, first of all, let's go to settings. You can even go to Steam, settings, and then go to Bluetooth, and you'll appear here. Or the other option is to press the three dots, and go to settings here, and go to Bluetooth there. Either option is fine. I'll just use this menu. But like I said, either option is fine. First of all, let's put this into pairing mode. So you press the PlayStation button and the share button. The light will start flashing. It doesn't matter if this is the older PlayStation 4 controller that has the light only at the top. Or the new one which has the light on the top and through the touch bar which, you know, this one does. So keep them both pressed for about 3 seconds. The light will start flashing. Like so. And then the controller should appear there. Obviously, make sure Bluetooth is enabled at the top. And wireless controller, click that. And this has now turned blue. Okay, so that's it. That's it connected. The other thing I want to show you is depending on what game you play, you may need to configure it. So let me, so I'm actually using the PlayStation controller there. And as you can see the icons, or PlayStation icon, which is pretty cool. So if we go to Doom Eternal, this, you know, works out of the box uh, with a controller that's not a Steam Deck controller. If you're using like an emulator or some older game, you may need to configure it. it one of the best ways to find out to configure it is to go to your controller, and as you can see, Steam Deck is there, controller one is here. And by default, it will give you the gamepad layout. So no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the official layout for this game. But if the official layout is okay. It's bit annoying, I've lost that layout. I'll sort that out after. So, if the official layout or there isn't a layout, then you go into community and you'll find loads of people have created different ones. Read the description because they will work slightly differently and use one of these. It'll download when you click X, it will download it and then you'll be able to play it for you know a few seconds, use it a few seconds later and I don't know where the the default one has gone which is a bit silly again I'll deal with that after okay so I'll just go to regular gamepad okay so if let's say we was go to, to go into the game now so the one last thing to note if we go into the game So let this game launch. And this is the same principle on all the games, including emulators as well. And I recommend using emulators through the Steam Deck gaming menu instead of the, instead of the desktop menu. 
even if that's where you set it up I've got a bunch of Steam Deck emulation videos as well so feel free to check them out so the game's launching up so let's just let all this run Don't worry about that, I always have that with Doom turn off for some reason. Starting gets a bit laggy, probably just loading some assets in. Okay. So I've just pressed X on the controller, that worked, that's fantastic, but let me just show you one little thing. Okay, so I can control it, that's all good. If you are unable to control it, what you want to do is go to press the Steam button, go to Game Details. If you go to the controller icon, there is a reorder controller icon. And you want obviously it's putting as number one. If by default, let's say it's number two, for example, you want to put that as number one and you'll reorder for some reason. Both of number one never seen that, but that so if I was to put this as number two now, if I click up and down, it's, it's not doing anything on the menu. Whereas the Steam Deck controls, which I'm using now, are working. Whereas if I was to go to game details, and I'll this, this used to trip me up a fair bit, but if you start it with the controller, then you'll usually be okay with the controller. But obviously if you don't, and you connect the controller afterwards, instead of rebooting the game, what you gotta do is go to reorder controllers, select the PlayStation 4, go up, boom, there we go. Now, if we go back, and I still use the Steam Deck controllers to load it up, as you can see, using the PlayStation 4 controller, I can go up and down. That's it. Nothing more to it than that. Like I said, depending on the game, you may need to do some extra, possibly setup where you download a particular config for your controller, or you may need to do some, possibly in addition to that, some extra setup in the game as well. Newer games that are on console as well, you will have a great time with them because they'll probably most likely just have controller support out of the box for PlayStation and Xbox controllers and other controllers as well, to be fair. But older games and emulators you may or may not need to do some extra configuration so that's it any questions feel free to let me know in the comments if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye